everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, time, we're, uh, comrade. gonna start our first playthrough. You of one of my quick, favorite games. It's probably expected. one of the best After all, you and I horror know games where ever. Come from. Uh, Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Pretty excited. Uh, yeah. We'll, uh, just what do you want? <laughs> one of my favorite games of all time like i said um as i go through this i'll kind of uh point out why i'm doing certain things because there's a lot of things in this game that you can just kind of miss i'll never so forget it i'll explain why i'm doing things it was the as year I when those things, grisly murders occurred in the arclay mountains soon after the news was out to the whole world revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise umbrella oh the virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Good old zombie breakouts, man. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. Yeah, how could they? With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Bye, Umbrella. Bye-bye. Just gonna skip that. <laughs> Get right into it. Why not? Oh, shit. So, Leon Kennedy. So, if you've never played it, we basically... These guys are driving with Leon. Leon's looking for a girl who's the president's daughter. Um, and yeah, he is here. Couldn't get them both, but I got one. Uh, birds are good. Kill birds. They'll obviously try and fly away, but they, uh, they give you, uh, Monet. Which is always nice. You're gonna need lots of Monet. I plan on playing through this a couple of times, too, because one of the other favorite reasons for playing this game is you get to uh, like play through again, but you get to keep all your stuff, um, which is a great feature. So you get like the first run through is usually the hardest uh, run through. Excuse me. Then it gets sir? much easier. Excuse me, sir. Nice fire. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. Let's do this high as hell. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Did you call me, boy? Sorry to have bothered you. Ah! Watch yourself, Leon. Freeze! I said freeze! Freeze, son. Ah! 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 The old inverted controls. Alright. Pop a cap real quick. Oh no. shit. Not my ride. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Ah, oh, shit. What you gonna do, Leon? Now you killed a guy. And now there's a bunch of people outside who want to kill you. Um, I guess. Pop from cap. Obviously headshots, just like any game. <laughs> oh, there you go. These guys really aren't hard. He's kind of got to run past them easily. Take one out from above, but jump out and then just run. I like the quick turn in this. It's a great feature. You're going to use this all the time. 
But of course, being closer, much easier to push <laughs> Another great way to save money. Or save ammo, I should say. Alright. Making our way downtown. Trying not to die. Oh, man. Uh, money. Oh, and marijuana. Nice. Just what you need when there's zombies everywhere. Classic typewriter save points. This game you usually play in chapters, so I'm not sure how I'm going to break this up. I might uh, break it up into chapters, but we'll see. We'll see how long it takes me to get through uh, chapter one. Once again, always try and kill the birds. Don't run away from them. And, like, don't be an asshole. Save this dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, don't just walk past him, save him, because he'll totally help you later on. Heck yeah. There you go, boy. Keep on being the goodest of boys. Elsewhere, though. Zombies everywhere. Okay, come through here. So, two groups of trees with explode explodes and a guy up on the hill. Cross the threshold, and then I usually just back up. Come on, buddy. Bring it out. If you're lucky, he'll wander through the strings, but that doesn't normally happen, so... <laughs> Hit him with a little bit bit of that blasty blast. And watch out for these creepy sheds, and sometimes there's creepy people in them, sometimes there's not. Ooh, always weed, though. More and more food. And wait for it. Damn! <laughs> so he's pissed at you, dog. Yeah, that's cool. That's like you owe debts. <laughs> that's the only time that happens. I remember when I was a kid, this scared the shit out of me. Woo! Alright. Oh, yes, dog! Oh, yes, dog! Oh, I missed the kick. I missed the kick opportunity. Still get my aim back. A little rusty. A little rusty. Oh yeah, I better eat some Swedes. I'll have mentioned too. This is, I think, the second time in my life I've ever played it through the GameCube version. I grew up with the uh, uh, the PS2 version. Which is no excuse, but still. I think I originally played it on GameCube, and then I had bought, I had gotten a PlayStation. And then bought it for that. There's a creepy fella in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This guy. can go fuck himself. <laughs> Can't fuck right off. Okay, here my dog off in the distance. I made it to our first gate. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take Sweet. a look at it. Thanks. Thanks, friendo. Government friendo. Don't need to read that nonsense. Yeah. All right, and the village. Creepy ass village. Lots of items to get here. Yeah. It's basically you're just trying to kill everybody. And I'll show you my technique of doing that. Okay, so be very, very sneaky. Sneak back here. Make sure there's no cabrones anywhere. Grab some Swede right here. You should try and get into this building. And they saw me. Fantastic. Not how I wanted to start this. <laughs> That's alright. We will make do. Just trying to collect 
some items right now. But yeah, they totally saw me. <laughs> Red Swedes. <laughs> Kick these ladies. There's really only one enemy to worry about here. Jeez. Can't wait to upgrade my guns. Alright, so this is normally what I do. Go in the house. Buy them for the trust. Who are these people? <laughs> this guy. That's the guy you gotta worry about. <laughs> but it's alright. It's pretty full. Cool. Shit. Son of a. Okay. Like this bookshelf. I'll just buy us some time. Grab some ammo. Run up these stairs. Grab this shotgun. Which is gonna be pretty crucial. Um, knock this down. Chainsaw guys right there. So we basically gotta make it to that building. And here we go. Gotta run in real quick. Turn left. Grab this motherfucking dresser. Push that shit. Alright, so we got that. We're doing alright. Next we're gonna open this room. This is our just in case room. Alright, now we come back to the door, and you're gonna shoot through the door. There should be everybody. Oh, and we're gonna hit him with an incendiary grenade. Bam. Next, we're gonna switch to a frag. Let's see where I'm going with this. Go frag. Get the pistol back out and then switch to our shotgun if we need to. Oh shit, that didn't work the way I should do it. Oh god. Alright, this might be a this might be a struggle. Alright, awesome. Same kind of thing that we did before. We're gonna go in the house. Lead them all up here. Knock this down. I thought I killed the chainsaw guy. Didn't kill the chainsaw guy. So we're gonna knock that down. We're gonna jump out. Be a ballsy mother. Run in this house. Bang out our shotgun. And don't miss. Out of here, Jack. Chainsaw. Yeah, okay. shotgun's nice because it gets him away from you. And I usually counter that with a grenade. Still not dead. There he goes. All right. So our biggest threat's dead. <laughs> Ah, cool. And you basically just gotta defend him. You don't actually have to kill everyone. But you defend long enough, and I think after you kill the chainsaw guy. And then they're out of here. Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler. Fuck Lord Sadler. <laughs> you will come to find out. Oh. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> of the catchy one-liners from Leon. Resident Evil. 
Nightfall. Oh yeah, that was our first taste, our first 15 minutes. Anigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. You got it, bud. All right, so everybody's dead. Now we quick uh, pick up all the things that we didn't pick up before. Yeah, that was a close one. I normally don't have that issue. I'll normally be able to get them once, but man, it started overwhelming me. Didn't want to die. Couldn't do it. Use your knife, conserve ammo. Always the number one strategy. Uh, I'm trying to think what we didn't get. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. Didn't get this stuff. Can't just open windows, strictly dives through them. Uh, okay, I got everything up here. I think I got everything downstairs. Let's just double check. Yeah, going into each situation prepared is really the, the way. The number one rule is always be prepared for what you're about to face. Which is tough if you've never played it before, so. Fair warning. Always be prepared. Our yellow Swedes. Alright. So. Definitely want to use these strategically. There's a couple different strategies you can do with the actual herbs. Um, basically, green you need no matter what just to use your herbs. Um, green restores a little bit. If you combine that with a yellow herb, then when you take it, our gauge is actually going to grow, our health gauge, which is important. Um, if you mix a green with a red, then that just is a full heal, which you don't really need right now in the beginning because your health is pretty low. Um or you can combine all three and then it becomes it does all three of the effects but um, when you do that the value of it's pretty nice so if you can sell it later on and you get the money from it but that just depends depends on your own personal strategy um, I also like to keep my case nice and tidy so y'all are gonna probably hate me by the end of this <laughs> I won't do too much case tidying this but definitely keeping things organized helps and uh, creating the most amount of room you possibly can in your case at all times very useful all right uh can I hop up here real quick we're almost done here just a couple more things to grab motherfucking cat Running round town. I'm so glad they let you run in this game. If I was like slow walking everywhere, it'd be uh be a problem. Oh Chicken laid an egg. What do you know? Grab the old flash grenade. And now we can really start heading towards the exit. Uh, up this hill. Oh, yeah. These little houses have boxes. So many boxes. Oh, the money. Who just leaves coins in a wooden box? Who sees a wooden box and says, hmm, that's where I'm going to put all my coins. Empty house. A waste your time house. A little bit of ammo. Oh, yeah, there's a letter behind us. We might as well grab it. Basically saying, oh, my God, this dude's here. Let's try and kill him. All right, so this next area. Um, these, you see that blue letter? These little blue medallions. There's a bunch everywhere. You can already see one over there, one there. There's even one up there you can't really see. Uh, we need to shoot those. There's 15 of them in total. Uh, I believe there's 
seven of them in this area or maybe six of them in this area and then the rest in a different area i can't really remember um but yeah we got to get all those because you get something that's pretty nice <clears throat> always save number one tip i always i keep on like i've said my number one tip like 18 times that's like my third number one tip constantly save uh for obvious reasons um all right so a few bit few bad guys in this area um Kind of show you how to deal with them. This right here, this medallion, you can shoot it and it's gonna fall. But if it does that, it decreases in value. So first you wanna shoot this, then shoot this. And there you go, now it's not all fucked up. Now we're gonna make our rounds. Killing these fools. This isn't like the last area we were just in where there's so many you can get crazy overwhelmed and worry about dying. This is what you for it. Just take him out. Oh, our faithful dog is here. Remember, face kicks do damage, but they save ammo. This guy is wandering off behind this guy. Head kicks. Cows are pissed right now. Ugh. Stinking pool of manure. What up, doggo? Oh. You freak me out, dog. Freak me out. Okay, medallion here in this tree. Numero uno. <laughs> These cows right now. Grab this one in this tree. This might let this guy over here. Maybe not. This is just the note explaining, hey, get all these blue aliens. Okay, yeah, so there's seven in this area, eight in another area. There's another one inside this building, along with this item. Oh. Didn't get me. It's like the equivalent of a bloopy. <laughs> Empty crate. That's kind of hard to see. This guy... Three. Oh my god. Another chicken laid another egg. Shoot you in the friggin' face. Damn. Dude, four blasts of the dome. Barely went down. Wow. Superman. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> Fuck you and your hat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut you up. You don't even deserve the bullets. Oh, please die. Please die. Please die. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everyone in this area. Yeah, so there's another guy up here. I am number four. Uh, he's breaking things, you know. You can open things. So basically, check everywhere. So there's usually things for you to pick up. Open this guy. Grab some ammo. Okay, so for this, if we look really quickly, whoa, um, there's this little like penned in area, and from below you can't really get through, so you have to jump down from up top here. See, so kind of like a little cage. And then open this, get this beer stein. Hang on to this beer stein. We're not gonna throw it out. Another big tip. Uh, now that's uh, brings up the perfect discussion for it. Uh, when you get items in this game, do not always sell them immediately because you can actually combine certain items and increase their value like tenfold. So uh, that's just one of my major tips. Another major tip: uh, don't just randomly sell your shit um, before thinking about it and trying things out and see if you can combine things. 
This is a pain in the ass sometimes, so don't mind me. Come on now. There it is. Cool. That was number five. This is number six. This one's a bitch. Usually. Come on. Come on. Yeah, number six. We can't get through this door yet. So you're just gonna climb back up. And then we can already see number seven right there. Which we could have gotten earlier, but we save it for now. Bam. So we got all seven blue medallions in this area. So now we can keep on moving. I think we got all the items as well, so. Uh, Alrighty. Moving on. So for this, this is also what makes Resident Evil 4 pretty unique, is there's uh, a lot of cinematics that are timed, or you have to press buttons to survive, and if you don't, then you'll die. And I just realized I didn't hit that save point. Mm. So, we better not die. Alright. Here we go. Scary every time. Holy fuck. Okay. Whew. We made it. Ooh. Shiny things. We should probably shoot them, right? Bunch of spinnels. Bunch of spinnels. Alright. There's some explodey guys here. You can see literally. <laughs> Dude, in the building, holding up the stick of dynamite. I wonder if I can cap it from here. I don't think I can, but that would be hilarious. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. I got him. Let's see if I can get this guy in the building. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to waste a bunch of ammo. If I had a rifle, this would be perfect. I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, beware trip traps as well. There's one right here. Oh, but this guy's gonna just take care of it for us. Yeah. Sit down, bud. You can shoot the string as well. Don't have to shoot the exact dynamite, but. Step in these, uh. Well, I didn't do anything to them. Step in these guys. Fuck that spider. I believe there's more traps on the ground over here, so. This guy just like fucking shit out the window like a dick. guy in the other room, I think. <laughs> he just blew everyone up. There he is. Uh, just collecting all the things. Who just hangs out in a shack? I guess someone with uh, some crazy shit going on. Uh, there's this bird thing. Red cat's eye. Definitely want that. Grab some of that handgun ammo. Well, that's basically it. Grab this ammo. And this Monet. Definitely gonna save. wonder what that banging noise is coming from. Let's investigate. Oh, more explodies. Oh, nice little sh 
shit. Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? <laughs> got gum. It's a very important question. Perfect. The big cheese. That what? big cheese. Yeah, the liners in this one. Love this dude. Take this foot to your foot. Damn. End of chapter 1-1. One one. Uh, we didn't die. Hit ratio 76%. Not too shabby. 37 enemies killed. And a lot more to go. <laughs> a lot more to go. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. Let us give you our power. No, I do not need your drugs in my neck, sir. <laughs> Soon, Please, no. you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Power. <clears throat> you mean this goop? They infected you, boy. Hey. Hey, wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, the noise is crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, Literally. let me guess. She's the president's the daughter? The freaking me out, man. <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. It's all coming from inside my house, not this creepy house. Nah, I'm <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Oh, no. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be Luis. quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Oh no. Hey boy, no, 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 this no. <laughs> Do something, cop! After you! Now! See? Oh! Didn't break somebody's neck real quick. And Lewis is like, I'm fucking out of here. Out of here, people. 
It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What Ashley. happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Yup. Gotta go back to that village. God damn. Alright, and now you're about to meet literally one of the best characters in all video games. Over here, stranger. Stranger. Oh, fuck. This guy. Oh, I've missed him. Yeah, this guy's a character. The old sketchy sayings. Meet me around back, stranger. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Uh, she got a selection of good. Did you see the blue medallions hanging around the village? It's for this guy. What uh, are you buying? We haven't gotten ten yet. So upgrading your case is usually a very, very good idea. Um, sooner than later. The rifle and the TMP are usually the other two go-to weapons besides the shotgun and the handgun. And as of right now, is that old strength? Damn. See, we need a case, but we also need weaponry. So that's when things get a little tricky, and when <laughs> the OCD about case management really gets like crazy. <laughs> So bear with me a moment here, because I just bought this gun, but I ain't got no room in my case. So, oh, here's an idea. What are you selling? I'm sell some things real quick. Uh... So spinels, yeah, you can just sell. Is that all? <laughs> all your spinels. Thank you. But really? Uh, oh yeah, in the pearl pendant. I don't think you need the pearl pendant. Ah, I'll buy. <laughs> right. Thank you. Hang on to the beer stein. Hang on to the cat sign. So. What are you buying? Now, Is that old? <laughs> get us that <laughs> Thank medium you. case. Is that old? And now you can buy us this rifle, no problem. I do actually have to organize though, so bear with me. Get some shit out the way real quick. OCD. I don't have OCD. You have OCD. Bam. So we got that in there. <laughs> All right, we got eight thousand left, and we can use it on the scope, <laughs> which is Thank very you. useful. And what now we have no money left, and can't really do any upgrades. But we don't really need upgrades for now. But having a rifle is usually very uh, crucial. Okay, thanks, buddy. Thanks for the thanks. If you go around the back side of the building, there's too many crates. Some some of that red herb. You know. Oh yeah, and now that we have the scope, you need to combine it with the rifle. Make sure you do that or else I don't think it's like actually on the rifle. And obviously you can zoom way in on people. And this part, it's not, it's, it's a very useful thing. So you can kind of you can kill a bunch of people before you even open the door. So this area is uh, a decent amount of enemies here, but if you're smart about it, it's not too difficult. Usually take care of any 
far guys like this that are just wide open. <laughs> I really don't know. He may not be dead. Eh, yeah, we'll find out. Right, let's see if we can get any other ones before we even open the door. There's this guy, but like oh there he is. I don't think so. Alright, I think we're ready to open the door. So, here comes everyone, so, just whip out this pistol and do some work. <laughs> guy just threw some dynamite, <laughs> I just killed that guy. This guy just doesn't want to die. Not bad. Just love to come to you. Uh, around. I don't see any immediate danger. Nope. I see you. I see you guys. Other guys just whipping out dynamite, killing me. Oh, <laughs> it's this guy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Gots to heal up. Totally gots to heal up. All right, we're just gonna. Oh no. Stressing. So that increased our health a little teeny weeny a bit. But it'll heal us all the way. Alright, let's this building. Using, using ladders to your advantage is always a good, <laughs> always a good technique as well. Grab this piece of stone. And we're just gonna jump on down. Make our way back over here. Building. Oh, something 
yellow herb. Nice. Boys. Yeah, still people here. It's all good. Slap this uh, guy on. Shot that guy. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. Just trying to get up this ladder. Oh. Alright, being up here makes life much easier. So, for efficiency's sake, let's see if we can take him out with a grenade. Oh my god, there's actually a lot of enemies left. Oh god! Alright. I think. Whew, I think we got this, but that was pretty lucky. sell these eggs, but honestly, they're nice just to kind of like round off your health. So that way you can save your herbs, your sprays, and all that good stuff. Okay, I remember this place as well. Start playing around. Brings a gun to a dynamite fight. Or who brings a dynamite to a gunfight? I feel like these enemies always do this in here. They always just kill themselves. Bam! Think you can fool me? I don't think so. I heard ya. You. you didn't 
I think I did, but I heard you. Gotta upgrade this gun. <laughs> well, except we don't. So they usually move on from this gun pretty quick. Grab these items, open this up, grab this spindle. Stein and the item you're gonna hang on to. Don't sell right away. And so many herbs. Who's stashing their herbs in these wood crates? Who's doing it? Greedy basements are my favorite. I got it Creepy basement. Wow, just kicked that guy off. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, it seemed like I was just tearing through my uh, ammo pointlessly. But I wasn't. Uh, I was trying to free up some space in my case, believe it or not. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get a little more. A little more organized, so we can fit some things in here. Um, yeah, always reload your shit too, because obviously it can spare you some room in your case. Even though now we have the medium case, we won't get a bigger one for a little while. Throw one of these flash grenades, and that will actually take care of all these fish. Oh. Or maybe it won't. Maybe they'll just be alive. Let's try it again. Huh. Interesting. Normally kills them. Alright. What about normal grenade? <laughs> there it is. So you really just want this this big boy. The large yeah, this guy. This feller. Um, I don't know if we have room really for anything else. Uh, maybe one more smaller guy? Yeah. Cool. Huh? Nah, I see you can't fit him. Can I eat him? <laughs> Alright, enough playing around. Keep moving. Pretty sure this is the end of the next chapter. I think that was the end of 1 2. Oh, maybe not. Almost. Oh, damn. These crows. That is what you want one of these flash grenades for. Great way to get him real quick. Don't get blown up, obviously. And we ain't about to step in these traps, no. Way. Creepy building we go. Uh, gotta figure out 
which one's right, and that's right. But we gotta flip it around. There we go. Symbol of Los Plagas. Creep around in someone's house. In someone's <laughs> once again, tire wardrobe. It's where I keep my money. Darn right, we got the key. This guy. Just open this door. I didn't jump that time. I normally jump. Even when I know what's coming. Boy, the castle. You Plaga carry the same blood as us, it seems. <sighs> Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Uh, <laughs> what? Same blood? Yeah, Doug. They performed an oil change on you, Leon. Okay. So that was the end of 1-2. Keep on a moving. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados. Illuminados. That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? That big yeah. cheese. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Man. Front row seats. Front row seats, pussycat. Woo! Alright. Moving on. Yeah, my cat likes to watch me play video games. It's pretty rad. Uh, marijuanas. Grab those. Man. This next part can get a little hairy, so we're gonna see. Chilling in someone's house, you know. Breaking everybody's things. What's cooking? Oh, it's just an egg. Uh, damn, I don't even have a room. So, what if I go, yeah, yeah. Still can't use it, damn. Well, the egg isn't worth it. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, loophole. All right, we got the egg, we got all the things. Time to save again. Just in case any shenanigans happens, which shenanigans has happened before, trust me. take even one step outside you can actually zoom down and see oh yep that's another chainsaw guy so we're just gonna pop my head real quick and there are more people besides him oh, fuck. Okay. he's obviously our main concern He's alright. Just gotta stay calm, hit your shots. Don't drop him. And once he's down, target his head. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a little 
close. A little close for comfort there. All right, actually no. We're gonna, we're gonna burn his hands. And even that might not do it. So. Get there we go. You can just run around him and go to the next area, but you want that rupee. Ruby, I should say, not rupee. Oh my god, I'm playing too much. <laughs> Way too much Zelda. Oh god. Let's see, there's another guy down there. Only got one rifle shot left, but let's see if I can use it on him. Oh man, my pusscat is in pure snuggle mode. And. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I think it hit the invisible wall. What'd you call me, boy? <laughs> Shirley with the knife. Shirley, put down the knife. Just had to listen, Shirley. Just had to listen. Uh, we're gonna back up a little bit because... Oh, I thought there was a bird's nest. Oh, I'm thinking of this one. Yep. Come on. Bird's nest. Another spinel. Some of that red herb. Another bird's nest. And map. Yeah. Yeah. So, whip out the old shoddy. <laughs> Barely phased by a shotgun in the face. Find that salesman. Get rid of that egg. Okay. Moving on. Back in the town. I don't have any sniper ammo. I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to get to the church. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the church. So you can. You're quick and nimble. Sneak past all these. Gotta use this motherfucking key. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sometimes it's better to not fight. Bust and open doors. Uh, look on the walls. Sometimes there is items down here, and also on the ceiling. You'll see, like, yeah, the blinking. Blinkingness. And nothing. And what do you know? It's our pal again. Got something that might interest you. 
about some rare thing. What are you selling? Okay, next? we are going to sell some things. Um, like this large ass bass. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Gonna keep that ruby. Is that all strength? These three other bass. <laughs> Thank you. Have tons of room in our case. What are you so buying? Now, the question is, do we give the TMP and sacrifice even more room, or do we do some upgrading? What are you buying? You know, I think we can survive. What are you buying? I think we can survive. Um. Is that all strength? Because out of all three of these guns, the only gun I really plan on upgrading and keeping is the TMP. <laughs> is that so we might as well get it. Yes, I know. We are going to be very cramped in this case <laughs> for a little you. bit until our next one. But Welcome. I think that's a wise decision. And I just want to see if we can still tune anything up with the remaining What are you buying? Money. Mm -hmm. I feel like pistol isn't a bad idea. See, but I don't like upgrading those because, like I said, I'm not going to keep that forever. Um, is right. that old strength? Capacity is usually <laughs> Thank good. Thank you. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Come back any time. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right, everybody. Uh, we're about an hour in. I'm going to go save back at that last typewriter one more time and then we're gonna call this part one of this resident evil 4 playthrough um yeah if you made it to this part of the video you know the shit appreciate you uh if you haven't already subscribe uh hit that notification button gonna come out with basically all sorts of different series like this this is just another random game that i really like that i want to do a series on so this is the start of it so thank you for watching part one look for part two and till next time peace